9.2.1 let's prove that OTBG is a cyclic quad so we're talking about OTBG we need OTBG uh, to be a cyclic quad right uh, but then what does it mean when OTBG is a cyclic quad right uh, that collateral should feed on at a circle right and then all the vertices must lie on the circumference of the circle so we must be able to draw a circle right uh, obviously i'm not going to do any uh, justice drawing the circle but uh, we must be able to uh, have something of uh, this manner if um, otbg it's a cyclic quad, right? Uh, B is also lying on the cyclic quad. Yeah, that's what we mean when you say OT, um, BG is a cyclic quad. So when I tried uh, solving this problem, <laughs> the mistake I made, I tried proving that it's a cyclic quad by saying that uh, this angle here plus this angle here, they should be equals to 180. Uh, that is correct, right? And then another way I tried to prove it is that this angle here should be equals to that angle there and then i couldn't prove it using those two ways right i'm not saying those ways are not correct they're correct but uh when i try proving that otbg is a cyclic quad using those ways uh, i couldn't right and then uh, what helped is uh realizing that if otbg is a cyclic quad uh then this angle uh, this angle here gbt uh this angle gbt should be equals to the angle uh gto right uh why should they be equals to each other because they have been subtended by uh the same chord uh go right so if we prove that those angles are equal to each other then we have proved that otbg is the cyclic quad so let's you know go ahead and try that uh so let me just erase this uh, so we are required to prove that um, angle GBO is equal to angle GTO. If we can prove that, then indeed uh, OTBG is a cyclic quad, right? So let's go ahead and uh, try and prove that. So very quick, uh, you can see here that uh, this line from the center is uh, cutting the line EF in half, right? If it cuts the line EF in half, then this angle here should be 90 and this angle here should also be 90. So what are we saying? We're saying that GTO, uh, GTO, yeah, that's correct, is equal to uh, 90 degrees, right? Uh, the line from uh, the center is uh bisecting uh the chord right so that angle there should be uh 90 degrees so now we know fully well that gbo should also be 90 degrees and indeed it is we're going to say that uh, gbo is equals to 90 degrees why are we saying gbo is equals to 90 degrees uh because this radius here uh, will be perpendicular to the tangent right we know that fully well so uh, the radius uh, is perpendicular to uh, the tangent right so now we've proved that uh, gto is equals to gbo because uh, they're all equals to 90 degrees right and then as a consequence uh, ot uh, bg is a cyclic uh quad right it's a cyclic quad because clearly uh gbo and gto are lying on the same segment now we can do 9.2.2 because we have proved uh beyond reasonable doubt that otbg is a cyclic quad so 9.2.2 is saying that let's prove that gob so let's just get rid of that uh, we have gob here so here's gob uh we're supposed to prove that uh apparently gob is a to uh angle s right uh, but then immediately when you look at this you would think that oh, angle s is equal to angle um stf right uh because they're alternating so let's just you know write that down 
Uh, so we see that angle S is equal to angle STF because uh, they alternate in angles, right? If you know, you just uh, look at that. Uh, but then if you look at STF, <laughs> you will see that STF is equal to GTB, right? Uh, GTB, GTB. So we see that um, uh, angle S is equal to not angle S but angle STF. So angle uh, STF is equal to GTB uh, because those are vertical uh, opposite angles, right? Yeah, whatsoever the reason is. Yeah, we know that uh, STF should be equal to GTB, right? Uh, but <laughs> I kid you not, um, GTB should be equal to GOB, uh, right? Uh, GTB is being uh, subtended by uh, GB, right? And then um, GOT is also being uh, subtended by uh, GB. We've proved that OTBG is a cyclic quad, so we can get away with saying that, right? Uh, so here we're going to say that uh, they've been uh, subtended uh, by the same uh, by the same chord, right? By the same chord. Yeah. So now you can see that we're saying that um, GOB is equal to GTB, and here we see that S is equal to STF, but STF is equal to GTB. So now we can say that uh, angle S is equal to angle GOB. Why are we saying that? Uh, they are all equals to angle GTB.